Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Rosewood Bermuda. My name is Serge. I'm general manager of food and beverage uh, operation here at Rosewood. Uh, today we're going to do a little recipe with the help of our executive chef Jerry Adams. First things, he asked me to get a few leaves of basil and some uh, parsley, so I did, uh, from our little chef's garden. Uh, and here we got actually beautiful onions growing, so maybe next week we will do a little uh, recipe about Bermuda onion soup, something on that line. So let me go in the kitchen. Here I got my, my stuff that he wants. Beautiful day today. The Allen Brasserie, with the empty. And now straight to the kitchen. There we go. Chef Jerry is waiting. Yeah. There we go. Good afternoon, guys. Good evening. Good morning. Whatever you may be. Good Jerry, I got your parsley and I got some, some basil. basil. Perfect. Let's pick the basil. Okay. So we're doing a very simple big salmon dish today. Uh, one tray. Very fast. Very easy. Great for two people. And we got some store-bought asparagus here. Just going to cut that around halfway down. Nice bunch of asparagus each. Straight onto the tray there. Little salt. Little pepper. One vegetable ready. Second vegetable, we've got a little tomato. Tomato, you say tomato. I say tomato. I say tomato. Just gonna cut this guy in half. Same again. Pepper. So, a little bit of sugar, just to sweeten up a little bit. I've got some store-bought breadcrumbs, panko. If you don't have any breadcrumbs, you can take an old piece of bread, grate it up. Some olive oil, lovely fresh basil, basil, tomato, tomato. Basil, basil, basilico. Straight from the garden. And with the breadcrumbs, let's have a little bit more in there. Waste not want that. Just need to say that uh, Jerry and myself goes, what, 16 years, something like that? Longer. Even longer than that. Longer. Oh my lord, we're Forever. getting old here. Forever. Yeah. So very simple, a little bit more olive oil on top. Vegetable number two ready in two minutes. Yeah? We're just going to get rid of those breadcrumbs. We're going to keep the same bowl. We're going to take two nice pieces of salmon fill that we have here. Yeah. Can we do that with another fish, Jerry? You know, right now, uh, red hinds are on the last week of the season. This will be excellent for red hinds. Be excellent for wahoo. Be excellent for rockfish. So just a nice thick cut piece of fish. We need to think about what, they, what the, yeah. our guests can find at the oh, yeah, supermarket, yeah. right? Um, Swordfish, be okay. Now, very simple topping for this. Got some old cheese. Here I got some Parmesan. I'm sure we all have some cheese lying around in the same bowl, no mess, no fuss. Just going to grate this down. For about each salmon fillet, we want about 50 grams of cheese. A regular grater is fine. Here I'm using a microplane. But just a regular grater that you have at home will work out perfectly. There we go. We're going to take a little bit of crushed garlic. The one that you have from the store that you have in your fridge is perfect. Just about seven or eight grams. Just enough to flavor it. And then just enough butter to hold that together. Now here we're gonna take some of our beautiful parsley from the garden. And it goes. Push all this together. Now what's going to happen is the butter, the garlic and the cheese are all going to come in a lovely little compound. And the butter should be soft, right? Oh yes. Yeah. It must be soft to start, otherwise this stage will be very difficult. I'm just going to add a little bit more cheese. Just 
You did that before, Jerry? Oh, yes, once or twice. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid to use your fingers here. You have this beautiful compound butter full of flavour. Just going to split it into two. Going to put a ball on top of each one of the salmon. Keep it a little bit more. Go. So this part here, it's nice, a little bit of warm water. Dip your fingers in. And we're just going to totally cover the top of the salmon. And what's going to happen is that melt, as the butter melts, the Parmesan, garlic and herb will stay on top and form a nice crust. The butter will help cook your asparagus, because we're going to set this right on top of the asparagus. And your tomato will bake on its own. So, it took us about six minutes to prepare, maybe less. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for around eight to 10 minutes. Now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of white wine on top of the asparagus. Not only will the butter help cook it, the wine will help steam it. We just keep this nice and neat. And it's gonna present straight out of the oven. So at home, I like to cook this about 375, 400. For about eight to ten minutes, um, and when it comes out, come that, just like that's this. That's the magic. All done. So very simple. You see the butter's melted away. See the butter on the tray there. It's cooked the asparagus. We've got a lovely Parmesan crust on the on the on the asparagus there. I'm just going to take that off, right into the center of the plate. We've got a beautiful little tomato right on top. There we go, waste not want not. Beautiful. That took six to eight minutes. And you have a dish with no mess in a kitchen using five, five, five ingredients that you can find at the supermarket. Again, this is the raw fish and vegetable. That will cook for about 10 to 12 minutes, yep. 300, 400 in your oven, okay? Yep. And that's the finished product. Beautiful. And thank you, Jerry. My pleasure. Thank you. Maybe All next right. time, what are we going to do? Uh, most probably uh, the, the onion looks great down ah, there. Well, maybe so some we onion soup? Yeah, something we have on the menu is very popular. Okay, excellent. All right. See you all soon, All right. guys. Take Stay care. safe, everybody. Thank All you, right. Bye bye.